Hey guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to do a quick video with a haul, a small haul that I got from scrapbook.com and then a larger haul that I got from Simon Says Stamp. So let's get right into it. So, um, adding to my colors of gilding polish. So the color that I chose um, was Ocean Teal beautiful color and everything that I got was on sale you know um, my favorite four-letter word is sale so um, everything that I'm showing here uh, from both places was on sale so um, I added to my full-size um, collection of distress oxides I got the new kitsch flamingo and then I got evergreen uh, bow, bow, however you say it. So those are the two colors that I chose that were on sale. And then I got um, this, which makes, it's a kit that makes three shutter cards. Um, this was on sale for a really good price. I wish I could remember what it was, but I can't. But I mean, it was stinking. It, it was a really good price, I can tell you that. So, um, it, you, you add your embellishments and all that, but um, what does it say? Supplies you will need fine tipped scissor, <laughs> fine tipped scissors, adhesive, bone folder, ruler, pattern paper, cardstock, and embellishments. So you get everything else to make three shutter cards. So I thought that was fun. So I got that. And then the last thing that I got was my very first house mouse stamp. Um, so cute. So the one that I chose has my favorite little forest animal, which is a hedgehog. So um, anyway, I stamped it out so you could see it. This is it um, in black ink on cardstock. And anything that you see that's wrong with it, believe me, it was the stamper's error and not the stamp. So turned out really really cute and then I also stamped it on um, just you know regular copier paper with memento London fog colored ink because there's a big smudge right here that's not supposed to be there that's not on the stamp that was me messing it up okay so that was everything I got from scrapbook.com Okay, so now I literally um, just got this box today uh, on my front porch. So anyway, um, a lot of this stuff is going to be Tim Holtz ideology stuff. But um, I got the alcohol ink foil tape sheets because um, I want, I have a project that I want to do that's going to be like a steampunk project and I ordered the vignette boxes. You're probably all very familiar with these. They were on sale so I got the boxes. I also got the finial set um, to use. I'm, I'm planning on attaching one on the bottom of the box, you know, to raise it up um, to make it, you know, uh, stand up and then you know you can attach a finial on top for decoration if you want to so I got that the one thing that I was not able to get were the frames that go on the front um, I was watching a YouTube video with Tim Holtz and of course he said the words these are being discontinued so I envisioned millions of people just pausing that YouTube video jumping off of it and going and ordering those frames right then and there because later when Jenny decides to casually just try to look for the frames um, they're unavailable and of course they have no idea if if or when they will ever become available again so I missed out on getting the frames that he was using, but I know they make um, something called baseboards. I'll probably end up just having to use that. But um, another thing I wanted to try was um, the Distress Crayons. 
he used them to, he attached paper, you know, he put some vintage paper on top of the box and then um, at the edges where, you know, he was like, I'm, he goes, you'll see why he, he was not concerned about going all the way to the edge because he distressed it with the crayon. And he also used the crayon directly on top of the frames and distressed them as well. So um, d I decided to get um, this set, which is all the colors that I like using when I'm working on vintage projects. Um, another thing that I got to use with the foil sheets was um, some distress paint and black soot because what he did was, and this is where I'm going to ask for help from the YouTube community. He took one of the smaller white styrofoam hearts that I think were on sale at Hobby Lobby during Valentine, Valentine's, but I didn't get any. So if any of you guys have any of those white styrofoam hearts, the smaller ones, um, let me know in the comments below because, I mean, I'd like to buy some from you because I, I want to do this project. But anyway, he ran the foil sheets through um, embossing folders. And then after he ran them through the embossing folders, he took the black paint and he, you know, mushed it on there and then it um, distressed the foil and made it look, you know, very metally, which um, is the look that I'm going through, going for with, you know, wanting to do the steampunk project. If I can find the white styrofoam hearts, if there's any out there. I, I don't think this stuff is going to stick to the glitter. I have glitter hearts, but I, don't, I just don't know if it'll stick or not. Believe me, I'll, I'll try it, but I don't know that it's going to work. Okay, so then um, I also got some of these arrows because he made the heart... And then, you know, he had an arrow to go with the heart as well, which if I do that, um, I'm not going to just display this for Valentine's Day. I'm going to leave it out, you know, all year long for love, you know. So, got that. And then, um, these were on sale, which are the uh, chipboard quotes, and there's 47 pieces I mean, there's some good stuff back there. You know, some good quotes that can be used on all sorts of projects. So I'm really glad I got this. Um, you know, I love the one that says, do what you love, be true to you, focus on the good. Anyway, love with all your heart, choose to shine, be brave with your life. I love, I love these. Anyway, I could go on and on, but I won't. Um, and then another thing that I got was um, these, which I'm really excited about, which are 68 uh, sentiment stickers. You know, and the, you guys, I mean, I'm, I'm dating myself, but um, remember the old label makers that we used to have that you would turn them and you have to squeeze the trigger and that punched the letter and then you turn it again for the next letter and on and on and on and then it printed out on different colors of tape. I mean, I, you know, we thought we were hot stuff when we got like yellow tape and orange tape. But anyway, um, most of the time it was black tape and you're punching white letters into it. But anyway, got these. And then, um, oh, also... I've never owned a glitter duster, so this was on sale, so I got a glitter duster, and um, Tim Holtz showed using this particular color called Vintage Platinum on a project, and oh my god, it was just gorgeous. What he did is he took um, some of those metal snowflakes and... Um, painted glossy accents on them and then just dusted them with this stuff and it, it was just fantastic and the way that it hit the light it was just gorgeous so I've got the, the glitter and I've got the glitter duster now and then another project that I want to work on with the vignette boxes is a Christmas project and I finally got these icicles um, I've been wanting these for a long time so uh, finally got the icicles 
so got that. And then, um, oh, okay, looks like I got three more colors in the full-size Distressed Oxide. Got Faded Jeans, Seedless Preserves, and a Vintage Photo. I need a Vintage Photo because I ran out on my mini pad from doing all of the, um, turning the brown paper bag into faux leather. I mean, it takes a lot of this ink. So I had to get a full size one, which I love vintage photos. So got that. And then these next two items are all the fault of Susan Tootsie Tucker. Hey girl, how you doing there? Um, I asked her, I, um, I, in one of her, after one of her videos, you know, I saw her using this, um, something out of a tube that she was adding to this gorgeous Memdex card. It was, um, an under the sea, um, theme, Susan, if you remember it, and you were adding all this beautiful stuff to your fingers and adding it to the project, and it was stunning, and, you know, I'm like, what is that? So anyway, it's metallic wax, and so um, the two colors that I chose were mint sparkle and vintage gold, so I'm excited about that. Um, I've got a little container going with um, some, what I'm calling my uh, mixed media collection, so... I've got some stuff going. I can add a new gilding polish in there. It looks like I already have, whoops, um, some uh, rich copper wax in there. And now I can add these two colors along with my um, alcohol inks. And then I had bought some of these. These were a dollar or maybe 50 cents. These are old fashioned hat pins. And I want to do something with them. It looks like, um, you know, I, you could pour resin in it, um, do all kinds of things. So I'm excited to do something with them. I think they were 50 cents. I, I forget where I was. These are Spellbinders. I must have been on Spellbinder site, but I got these. And I digress again. But anyway, here's my little um, mixed media basket I've got going. And then... Um, I got um, the this set of thinlets from Tim Holtz. I got the rabbit just in time for Easter. And then I'm down to the bottom, guys, I promise. Okay, I love hedgehogs. So um, this was like a dollar. I swear it was either one dollar or two dollars. So I got it. It's a, just a tiny little stamp set. You can see the size of my hand, how big it is. But sending hedgehogs. I'll be using that, guys, when I send you happy mail. And then uh, 10 wooden pieces. And look, right fire. Oh, yeah. Can we say cute? Little hedgehog. He's adorable. And then um, owls. And I actually like the greenery, too, and foxes. So I got that. And then I got this um, stamp set that was pretty cheap. It was, um, it's, a uh, elegant flourishes. So I've been wanting some flourishes to add, um, to some projects to stamp for some, you know, like junk journals or traveler's notebooks or something. So I got that. Okay, guys, you made it through to the end. So that is my, uh, haul video and that's all I've got for you right now. Sending your crafty hugs from Texas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.